Have you ever sent an email to a colleague who sits just a couple of desks over and you've been sitting there ignoring the colleague whilst simultaneously writing to her or him? Um, you wouldn't be alone. A lot of people do that. Career expert Laurel McClay joins me now. Laurel, good morning. Good morning, Paul. The average New Zealand person reads one, well, reads, has to do something with 120 emails a day. That's on average right now. And that is extraordinary. It's crazy, isn't it? And when you consider how much of that is an absolute waste of time, that's just, it's a loss of productivity, isn't it? Well, it tends to put people into overwhelm. They're all, like, these people who actually want to put their inboxes down to zero, how can you manage that mm. when you're getting that volume coming because in every day? Because quite often people will arrive at work and their first goal oh, yeah. is to actually empty their inbox. <laughs> what about when they first wake up and the phone's by their bed and that's when they'll actually yeah. look at it. Well, that's another know? subject, of course, how work can stalk you 24-7 <laughs> yes, now. Okay, so in terms of, because there are a few things we need to know um, it, it, when it comes to emailing in particular, or social media in particular, um, at work. Number one, never send an emotional email. It's all about context. So if you're really angry about something and then you decide that you're going to reply with everything that you think about the particular topic, well, guess what? It's going to land very differently as if you sat and had a conversation with that person. So this, these are the reasons why you should actually just get up and walk over or pick up the phone and talk to talk to your colleague. And there's sometimes instances of people being notified of their redundancy via email. Mm. So I think what that means is people are just too scared to have to deal with the response of that person, and that's extraordinarily Oh, it, and the thing about email is it's become a cop-out thing. It is a, so if you want to handle something, yes. someone, someone asks you a thing on email, and you think, oh, I can't bother to think about that, and so you just email back, I'll look into it. <laughs> and you think, oh, that's, that's done. All you're doing is saying, send me more emails on this. I know, we train people, aren't we? All right. Number two, there are times when there is a courtesy factor in, in determining whether you email or respond in person. So that really comes down to timing. I have been in situations where I've been on my way to a meeting and then I get to the meeting and someone has emailed to say, I'm sorry, I can't make it today. So in that instance, pick up the phone. Well, bastards. Alternatively, it may be better to actually email someone if it's not urgent and you know that their workload is, is full on. It really does come down to timing timing and particularly what you said about the person next door if it's a quick yes or no answer why not pop your head up say hello and just ask right there and then the, the huge number of people when i was talking about this conversation uh, that we were having today huge number of people who are in offices with little partitions hey. will actually email the person on the other they side will. of the partition um extraordinary okay finally and this is the real bugbear group emails and copying people in all you're doing is ruining other people's lives and and absolutely blocking up that inbox you know how many times do you, you you don't necessarily know that you're the one who's been cc'd and then you see and it's like really why did i need to know that and think about if you were at a, Actually, at a party just for a moment yes why did i even need to know that how many people at work must say that umpteen Every bloody day. times and you've also got the risk and i know specific examples of this of going reply all and making some disparaging comment about someone who happens to be on that email yeah, list that? and that <laughs> happens more often than we think <laughs> all right there's no one rule for this, is there? It's just, you know, this is wasting the money of the people you work for, and it is wasting your precious life. And I think we are getting so disconnected. Let's spend some time speaking to people face to face rather than hiding behind technology. We've got too many other. Imagine ways if your workplace, if you just said, right, we're going to have a, we're going to have an email free week. Oh wow! Let's see how it goes. <laughs> God, there's a challenge. Um, Laurel, thank you so much for joining thank us. Laurel McClay, career expert.